Welcome back, Aussie Dad Life. It's been a bit of a while since I've done a last video. Apologies for the camera quality on the mobile, it's not very good. We're up here at Cadell on the Murray in uh, Moama. Hello! Oh, it just made me smell the food. Anyway, um, this place is awesome. As you can probably see behind me, I do a bit of a pan. Hang on, hang on, hang on. I'm not and you went to a one six. It's a cracker. Beautiful green grass for the kids to all run around. We have barbecue facilities, tables, chairs. If you want to come up and get away and just relax, this place is hard to beat. If you've got a boat, you can bring it up, park it down uh, at the like a little mooring place or jet skis. Um, got the fishing rods in. So far, no luck. Got some yabbies, got some worms on. No uh, No fishies, buddy. Anyway, I'll get a look here. See there in the background. Jetty's quite sneaky down to the down to the water. So if you've got little ones, you do need to keep a bit of an eye on them. But overall, hey, cracker of a place. Like Rooms or accommodation are pretty standard, you know. Beds if you've got kids like we do. Um, we've got a, se a second room for the boys to sleep in. It's got tennis courts. It's got a pool that is freezing cold. It's got slides. It's got some playgrounds. Uh, basketball court that's part of the tennis court. Yeah, yeah. It's got a whole heap of things to keep the kids entertained. Some horses over in the next paddock, so if you kids are interested in some animals, I'll come over for Stop. a feed. Um, anyway, I hope you're all having a great day so far. Um, I'll take you inside and I'll sort of show you the room a little bit, bit later. So we're out here now, out sort of the front, you could say, of the, uh, the hotel. In the background we've got the tennis courts and the kids' playground. Not huge, but plenty of running around space. Now, this place is a car, probably five minutes out of Moama, um, or pretty much the border where you go over the river there into a chute where there's absolutely stuff all, it's quiet. So if you wanted to get away from sort of the rat race of where most of the hotels are in the, in, in the chuka there where you're sort of riding down and so on, um, this place is awesome. We've been here quite a few times. There's the pool, freezing cold but clean. Um, kids like to swim in it. It is, like I said, a crack of a place and the accommodation. It's pretty standard, it's not glamorous, it's not fancy, but if you want to get away with the kids, pretty cheap weekend. I think it's around 150 bucks a night. Um, it's awesome. And it comes with, you don't even have to bring your own tennis balls and bats and so on. All comes supplied, so. Gonna whack a few balls around here with the young fella and uh, entertain ourselves before we. I think we've got seafood. It's not it's crazy. Not to it's some seafood. And um, yeah, gonna enjoy ourselves. So, anyway, have a good one. If you could subscribe, that'd be fantastic. Jumped up a little bit, which has been good. Obviously, wanna get some more subscribers and uh, really appreciate all the comments that people have been leaving me. Oh, watch out, here we go. Gonna get hit here in a minute. Whee! Next pat rafter. Here we go. And it's gone out the door. Anyway, I'll, uh, I'll swing back a bit later and I'll show you some more stuff as we're going along. Alright, we're in the pool. How cold is it? <laughs> it's cold. It's a bit chilly, but it's, uh, it's about 29 degrees here today. So it's, uh, it's a little bit on the warm side. When the sun comes out, it gets really hot. When it goes away, it's, it's quite nice. So we're out here in the water. As you can see, crystal clear. Beautiful, isn't it, mate? You want to get out? You're gonna get out. Where are you gonna get to? Climb out, monkey style. Oh, here's the other terror. What are you doing? I'm trying to go near mine. Ah, <laughs> oh, the joys. <sighs> Holiday life. Yeah, it's the serenity. Get a beer. People out on their uh, wakeboards. Not very successful. Got the noisy cockies in the background. Oh, look at old mate here. He's going along all right. Hey, good on him. Tell you what, a few cockies. If you like waking up early, this is the place to come to. Those cockies, they seem to uh, like to wake up at an early hour of the day. One million hundred. Yeah, look at them all. Hey. What a 
cracker of an evening. Oi, good one. Yeah, it's your turn. Oh, good shot, mate. Oh, it's hard to play tennis, film, and drink again. <sighs> Father was here right here. How's the serenity, Mace? Pretty good. We've caught one fish this morning. The rods are down there, I left them in overnight. Sort of was a bit panic station, so I didn't get the phone out. Dirty great big car. Cracker of a day here. Point it, Mace. Come, Mace. Keep winding. I think it's better than my one. Keep winding. I can't. Why, well, Mace? Oh, he's a good one. Oh, there he is. Oh, it's... Point him at the water. Look through the camera. Oh, hang on, Mace. He's out. Oh, I did it. Did it, Mace. Did it, did it. What's the pit line? He's a pit line. He's a pit line. Careful, step back, step back in case it. Is he just cloud or what? No, he's a big. <laughs> what is he? Is he a toddler or a light horse? No, he's a big carp. Can you taste him? Oh, he's a big one. Is he? It's bigger than my one, I thought. Yeah, he was bigger than your one, eh? Step back. Yeah. I told you there was one. I'm going to want this one in. Now let Mace wind that one in. Alright, so you see we caught a big carp. Would have been probably about seven or eight kilos this morning. So we've got two overnight each time. Um, thought I'd do a quick um, review of the gear that I'm using. So when you fish up in the Murray, you want to fish as heavy as you can. So I'm using sort of 25 pound uh, mono. Normally I'd use uh, braid, but this is sort of what was spooled up for snapper season. So with, I think it was about 60 pound leader, just with a running sinker rig on it. Anyway, uh, winched it in no problems. No car, no cod, unfortunately. But anyway, here's what it is. We're packing up now. It's uh, home time. So head back down into Melbourne. So it's just a lazy three and a half hours. And we'll be back, back into the world, world of working and uh, everything else that goes on. So hope you've had a great one. Thanks again for watching. Thanks again for subscribing. I'll catch you on the next video. Cheers.